Hey, you! Hey, in Australia. Shout out Australia! Whoa, oh, they have not been shouted at in a yeah. long time. They it's haven't. Australia's I'm sorry. Birthday. Maybe. If it's not Australia's birthday, at least. Oh yeah. Well, it is in our I, have, I think we bumped it between Thanks episodes. I fixed it last episode at least. We stop. We stop being dumb, you five-month-old baby. Episode 61! Woo! All right. Woo! Um, is announcement that is uh, that uh, I've been doing a lot with like chat GPT um, usage for uh, D&D stuff. Cool. Uh, and I've compiled a Google folder that has like a ton of the information that I've been able to uh, produce with it. Uh, if you want access to it, there's a link to it on our Patreon. Um, and there's been a ton of activity interacting with it on TikTok as well. So uh, go check that out if you haven't yet. And um, yeah, engage with me there. I'd love to talk with you about it. There's been some really cool stuff that's been going on there too. Uh, second two announcements is recap. Over to y'all. I got it. I yeah. got this. Yeah. She's on the case. So, we picked up and we re- recapped the previous thing yeah. as a party. <laughs> Lady was floating in a pool. She told a prophecy. We spent too much time. We don't need to recap. recap. <laughs> She's recapping when we recap. Why would you recap when we recap? Way too far she back. She gave a prophecy. And so we spent a long time talking about who was who in the prophecy, and then we decided it doesn't matter because we have more pressing business to do. (laughs) And then we all went to bed. And then. (laughs) What? We (laughs) recapped and we blacked out. (laughs) (laughs) We woke up and we had breakfast, and then we went on our merry way where. Yes. Uh, arm, armistice Shen, what's his name? Arbiter Shen. <laughs> armistice Senator. He loves trees. Arbiter Shen said, it's appropriate that you're here, and we all said, yes! <laughs> <laughs> and then we went into the caves, and... Uh, oh, also Felon had a bad scary dream where some shadow wolves came and attacked him. Uh-huh. And he talked to me about it, and I said, it's okay, don't be afraid of dreams. Dreams are just your mind playing tricks on you. <laughs> <laughs> You're there. <laughs> I didn't know what you said. Ah! I don't like that. And I was fine. And how to meditate. <clears throat> and then we made it to the to the tappery. To the winery. Sapphire. To the sappery. <laughs> to sappery. Where we all started tap dancing. <laughs> into the tavern? The, the pit? I mean, <laughs> <a tappery. laughs> That's how I can't believe what Sally said, like, right away. Bring me a tappery. And there was a, a green? <laughs> with flint? We made it to the sappery. <laughs> oh, no. And so many yeah. Oh, no. The glue that was holding Julie's leg together is very oh, no. soft, and so she's like, no, crazy. no. Oh yeah, that was like glue so that's holding so. your leg together. <laughs> and and let me finish the recap. Okay. And Tuli did some stuff to figure out what was in the room, and she was like, "Whoa, there is a profound amount of Arcana in this room," and then said that out loud. And then I was like, "Shh," and meditated. No, I didn't tell you to shh. That would be rude. It was subtext. <laughs> and I meditated. I meditated on the tree to figure out how it was feeling because I took some time and figured out that it was not a celestial being or a medieval thing, but it could be oh, a fae. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> you know. We're falling apart. <laughs> one step. One step. <laughs> one clock. It was the Klondike bar. I thought you were going to say, please don't hit the camera, Rachel. Um, what do you want? Any one of the dice would be there. It was neither a celestial being or a monstrosity. Which means it could still be a fey, undead, so or things. so many other things. I just knew whether or not those things were within a mile of me. And the tree was one of them. And so then I said, what's the vibe with this tree? And started touching it, and then fell and saw uh, two um, cordyceps behind me. Whoa. That's <laughs> the tree <laughs> Ah, tree bird. Like, um... That's a zombie. You know, from <laughs> The Last of Us. Hey, Some mushroom just like people. To that a corpse is a zombie. <laughs> Some plant Cross people. Talk. And then real, real Dan said, that's myself. the end, and we all went... <gasps> That's the end? And then we slept for a week. So that's that's the end of that episode. episode. Nope, we didn't sleep at all. Gosh. We as humans slept for a week, and now we're back. We do this every week. Yes. No, I ate a Klondike bar. Oh, 
that was, it felt like a All right. Are we willing for this? Okay. This is content. And Joey tried to comfort me, and I went, ha! Okay, so, with all of that chaos, what I would like to narrate first before we get started is, this little battle scene here is, these are the two tunnels, these are the two creatures that emerged from them, and the party has been spread around this sappery room, where we have Lorelet, who is investigating the route here, and then this, because he is such a simple NPC, Chris Lonehelm doesn't care <laughs> as any form of figure. He is a die. Uh, because y'all said he's going to die, so might as well make him die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bobby, Chris. We can't is here. Year old Laura is here. Strokoth is here. Yeah, well, Pilgrim, Julie, yeah. this is Jacques, and uh, Gwenlyn, <laughs> and Lilith, and, and Misery. Uh, and so <laughs> we're doing this setup. Um, and uh, <laughs> one of the first things that happens before initiative is rolled uh, is that you can see uh, these two kind of human-ish, but with some of the like blood root uh, kind of essence to them, where they have elements of like roots and branches and stuff kind of woven into their armor. Um, their faces look a little more human-ish, more than these miniatures depict, uh, but there's some type of like almost plant-human hybrid. As they start to step through, uh, you can hear them almost parcel tongue like whispering to one another, where the, the, the language is very like. And they're like pointing forward. <laughs> so, um, the light that you all have is generally dim. Who is holding a torch at this point, too? Pilgrim is holding a torch with Mage Hand. A oh, real torch or a dim torch? I was just holding mine. I didn't need a Mage Hand. Okay. Um, and then you were doing dim some torch. fire. Pretty slight. Well. Yeah. Um, so, we do have a little bit of bright light happening around Tuli back here. <laughs> Which is great because your miniature is already holding the fire. I love it. This, thank you uh, for designing such a great miniature for us to use. Um, can I ask a question? No. Yeah. Do we know that they're combative? Because I was kind of hoping they wanted to come out and be friends. Okay. Uh, so your Zero initial take, your eyes are closed and you're not looking over towards them. So you don't know. Um, but. Okay. Um, I was really hoping you were going to be like, they wanted to come out and talk to you because you wanted to have they empathy for the tree. They wanted to give you a hug. Well, because I wanted to have empathy for the tree. I wanted to have a conversation. Give me big tree smooch. Uh, but the, what you do notice, uh, which does grab your attention too, um, is that... Let me just double check something. <sighs> Okay, um, in a, <clears throat> crap, I need some form of signifier for this. This will work just fine. Um, yeah. And we may need to move some stuff, but. Whoa. Yeah, this just about covers it. Um, in this circle right here, um, a complete opaque darkness just takes over in a massive sphere. Am I in that? Uh, you are just outside just of it. Outside. It snuffs out the light that you have in your hand. So mm-hmm. even well, right around you, you can maybe just see like a, a, a circle of like just immediately around you. Or if you raised your hands, like you could see them, but it chokes out everything else. You don't even see. Dark vision, Dark vision does not even pierce through. It. I was going to ask that yeah. too. Um, and so this, you all outside of it can see this like orb, this sphere of complete <laughs> opaque black. Uh, and uh, if you were within it, everything is kind of choked out. Now we will roll initiative. Mm. Would there have been a chance to do a buff Frig. before we started or no? It's I would okay say the not. first thing you know is oh. it's like you were standing there, you were is looking at Laura like, you maybe caught their eye, and then and like last, everything so no. darkens out. So no. mm-hmm. I wrote a five. I did too. Uh, I didn't know to get ready to look at all this. Yeah. 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 Let's not tell Dana. Uh-huh. Yeah. No one told Dana we rolled twice. Steven and I rolled five. I mean, Bill and I. I rolled a six. Bill <laughs> <laughs> and five. Um, I actually have an initiative modifier, so that's a six. Wait, what six. does that mean? Okay. <laughs> Do I have one of those? You yeah. should. You should. Yeah. Aha! Uh, uh-huh. I rolled a four. Laura, let's roll a four. Misery. You Mi- plus two. Misery. Yeah. Oh wow. Eleven. Eleven. Gwendolyn. Not twenty, baby. Whoa. Whoa. Nice. Well, I was gonna ask if you rolled with advantage, but you didn't really have to. I wow. did roll with advantage. Twenty was the second one. Plus three. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Oh, hi. Seven. Five. Seven. Seven. That's still good. Twelve. Twelve. We're not really taking initiative. This is fine. We're a little passive this time. Yeah. We're a little. Do that again and see what happens. Surprised. 
Because it, it'll give them a chance to show that they want to be our friends and not fight yes. us. Wait, I you. That's why we rolled initiative. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> For a friendship conversation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what, did Chris, what did Chris... Or do we not get to know what Chris and Jock and Lilith do? Yeah, you don't necessarily know. Chris yet. is next to me. He's not in the shadows. That's good. Well, this is my time to shine, where I... Yeah, really? So where did the orb that? generate from? <laughs> <laughs> this is my time is to shine. Snuffs out all the light. Can I tell who was casting that? Uh, yes, I would say that you. By the time you uh, noticed it and you were able to catch it for a moment before your vision was cut out, uh, that this one back here was the one who seems to be casting. Ah, uh, not quick enough to react. This was silence. Okay. Silence. Okay. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> All right, Gwenlin, you are going to be the first up. Uh-oh. Can you eat the orb of black, please? Uh, yeah. You are outside of the darkness. You yeah. see the orb and you see yeah. both of the creatures. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20. One is 20 ish feet away from you, the other 5, 10, 15, 20, more like 35. I gotta look at my things. Whatever. No question. Whenever I hold an attack, um, that would be like this holding my whole attack realm, right? Like You could hold an action, not a bonus action, not your movement. So it, it would be holding one attack, not two attacks like I normally get? You get two attacks per action, and you're holding your action. So you get two so, attacks. You got it. Like, I um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, I feel stupid to move. Okay. Yeah, what I would need to do. Okay. I don't know, guys. Um, I'm gonna move a little bit closer. But you're a melee. I know. So I won't be able to get them if I need to. I'm not gonna worry. So moving up here. Yeah. That was probably like 10 feet, 50 feet, I don't know. And I'm gonna. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, <laughs> darkness! Help! 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 Wow! Help. 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 I'm gonna hold my action, which okay. includes two attacks, people. What do you mean, hold it? I will. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I do have to describe it. Daylight! I'm gonna Slow wait. I, this is a lot of. Simulation. He's working on it. <laughs> I'm gonna faint. Um, Don't. It's a cave scene. All right. Uh, I'm gonna hold my attack, so I'm not gonna attack. Um, just because they spread some darkness doesn't mean they're bad people. Have you seen his fingers? Even though I think they're from a <laughs> Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Even though it's clearly a plant from a fort. Um, so I am going to wait until they show. It's just a government plant. Malicious intent. Do you <laughs> or say is that anything? real? <laughs> huh? Do you say anything while you're doing this? I hate Monday. Hang in there, guys. <laughs> I don't know. I guess not. <laughs> yeah, okay. So you kind of like, you, you kind of go into this just like immediate perceptive, like what is happening, I'm not sure, but I'm poised, ready to go at this very like tension point of, all right, we're either fully into this and I'm acting, or you're holding back and waiting. Uh, shifting is more invisible than raging, right? Like, raging doesn't have a lot of visible... I would even say your shifting is like uh, an animal with fur kind of puffing up. Uh, but sh- is shift is, is raging less so? Less what? Uh, is it physically, visually noticeable if I rage? She doesn't want the rocks to see her turn into a bear. Um, yeah, I don't want them to If rage. you don't want it to be, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, I think I will go ahead and rage, but hold the attack. Sure. Is that fine? Yeah, that's totally good. All right, after Gwenlyn. You hear? Oh, that's cool. I can't see. Oh, no, <laughs> no, Chris. What's happening? Oh no! Oh, sorry, You're probably dead. dying, Chris. Oh, <laughs> oh God! Is this a shadow wolf? Oh no! Nope, uh, it's worse. I think. And then, can I use my reaction? What's, the, nothing? What's your trigger? What is your reaction of? 
That's okay. I, that was my question. I have to react to something. Which, I mean... Dark. I guess I can react to the, the fact that darkness just... The drastic change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, is this for your horn. dust pass horn? Yeah. Yeah, you, you don't necessarily... Yeah, like, that is a pretty free and open yeah. user reaction at any point thing, so... Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow it. Okay. And... Oh... Are they within 30 feet of me, though? I'm really far away. Okay, sure. of them. Yeah. Will it work if I'm not sure? <laughs> I'll do it anyway. Do you want to move closer to the dome of, of darkness? Oh, well, it's not my turn. So oh, that's right. This rest, you're right. I'm going to do it. I, I got to do it anyway. Um, Because I want to do it before it's all their turns. Yeah. And I don't know his I want to let everybody move 10 feet without provoking attacks. Okay. Whoa, get out of the darkness, guys. Yeah, so you hear this sound, and it's this... <laughs> it prompts in you uh, what has started in this point of combat to be, oh, we're in it, something is happening, like, what are we doing? And then the horn from uh, your comrade, uh, Misery, blows, and it immediately gives you this, like, oh, I need to get into position feeling. And so, Gwenlin, you currently can move an additional 10 feet if you want to. Um, we do have to peek to see. Uh, Pilgrim, you could move. Thule, you could move. And that is it. So, I can't move? You were you're too far away from me. Yeah. Sorry. Out of the darkness? We can uh, you can move 10 feet. And, and I will say, like this, you don't know how far the darkness is or what it is. All you know at this point is you know the general direction that the creatures are that you saw, and you know the direction of the sound this is coming from. So if you wanted to move towards the sound, away from the sound, towards the creatures, away from the creatures. I want to, I want to, my sense of where the right is, I want to get a bead on this guy that I know cast the spell. Sure. So I want to okay. try and get out this way. Get yeah. a bead so towards on the it? sound, 10 feet. Five, 10. That would get you out of the darkness. Okay. Pilgrim. Uh, I would move towards the sound, too. Okay. Five, 10. You're just saying that because you see that it's 10 freaking feet. No, I would move towards the sound. <laughs> More like as you are stuck in the sound, in the darkness. I don't know that game. Uh, <laughs> Thule and, as you blow the horn, both Thule and Pilgrim move towards you following the sound and peek out, and you can see them fighting their way out of it. Transformers? Yeah. So that is your reaction. You Wait, see... Autobots roll. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's not <laughs> important. Uh, everyone who's out of the dome, you can see this um, creature who stepped... Um, <laughs> He's flopping around. <laughs> uh, he you... steps into the darkness. Oh, no. Oops. Chris is going to die. Oh. What's his name? Oh, it. Uh, actually, as Wait, he's... could Chris move? Where's he... As he's doing this, you can oh, see God. one of the kind of like root like vines that's growing around him. He pulls out a uh, long sword and he runs the sword along the root, and you can see some of the blood dripping from it. And then the sword lights up with a bit of a reddish black spirit, and then he steps into the darkness. Michael was right. Whoa. Getting possessed by the blood. The tree, the tree man did that. The we tree saw man that. did that. Um, one second. My brain. I mean, they're not shadow people, so uh, I was thinking. More or less, does an 18 hit you? Yeah. Okay. She go. No. <laughs> I have plenty of health. I just. An 18 hit. More, more or less, you take seven piercing damage. Okay. Take I'm okay. <laughs> not that. I'm okay. Done. And 50 bullets. And eight necrotic damage. What the fuck? Like to my brain? It's like death. Oh, it's like straight. Um, <clears throat> well, now we know and they're then chronic. An eight That's doesn't true. hit you as well. So. Hmm. An eight Ooh, does not hit me. Sense any okay. okay. Um, after that, um, yeah, you all just see the creature do that with a sword and then step into the darkness. Um, and then perhaps the, you hear Loreleth kind of like just react to being stabbed by a sword. Um, <laughs> perhaps. Uh, okay. You didn't necessarily have action. to flavor it, but that is fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Tuli, you're up. All right, I'm going to cast a spell magic. Okay. <gasps> <laughs> That's Get a big deal, guys. Go, okay. Get out! Uh, Whoa! Uh, let me just double check with the spell magic. It's... It is third level or lower. The target 
it ends. And yeah, and it's on a range of 120 feet and uh, a magical effect you can see yeah, within 120 feet. Is that right? It doesn't say see. It just says one creature, object, or a magical effect within range. Great. Okay. So you see the darkness and you're atten- attempting to dispel that particular okay, okay, darkness. Okay, 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 yes. Okay, 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 if it's okay, third wait. level or less, it is gone. Yes. Yes! Wow. Yay! Okay, so when I use to spell I magic, see. I feel my wand start to vibrate. Yes. So she Whoa. pulls out. <laughs> what does it mean? That yeah. sounded no appropriate. Let's, we'll just move past that. So, oh, oh, no. She's what using the dust dust wand to do this, and when she uses it to be the focus of her incantation, the actual darkness of this uh, sphere uh, coalesces into a spiral that then is absorbed into the wand. Where did he go? <gasps> That's sick. <gasps> He's gone! I also get one um, redirected energy. You do. You have a charge for that. Wait, what? Do you did you, where, oh yeah, I did just take him off. Let me find him. Okay. Oh, I mean, for a second I thought she absorbed the I dude. thought that was for real, <laughs> yeah. Sucked him up like a vacuum machine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that is your action. Um, I don't think I have any bonus actions that okay. I can do. Because I've already cast a spell, right? You did. All right, then I. Let's uh, also do your two important rolls that you get for your ring of the yes. Threadweaver. Yes, yes, yes. Good During roll. your last long rest, you Good would have point. gotten those. They're very right. important. Super important. Who is this Threadweaver? All right, I got a. F- uh, oh wait, I got a twelve and a fifteen. A twelve and fifteen. Okay. Is it really? Not ideal. Yeah. Oh. We know that. Everyone knows that. Oh, yeah. Everyone knows that. <laughs> okay. Is that everyone knows so, that. Okay. Stupid. That's the thread weaver. Oh, yeah. Yeah, come on. Even Misery knew that. Even Joey knew that. Mm-hmm. Even Drenton knew that. Okay, after Tuli. Um, yeah. This creature. No. No. Man, we really did that. Oh. Oh. Continues some whispering as a shadow wolf appears next to it. Oh, oh. It's a tiny dog. Oh. Oh. And then it moves forward towards Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn, what was your held action? I was gonna hold it until it was something clearly malicious happening. Okay. What was the action? Would you holding? would you say that? I would say you see this creep, the other one attacking Lorelith as the dome is. Yes, gone. pretty malicious. It is. Oh, oh, okay, so you are free to attack this creature as it works forward towards you. Yeah, I'll 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 you know, get him. Oh gosh, I forgot about all the things. He- and you're raging now. All the I'm things raging. he said, all nice. the things he said running through my head. It looks like it's a hammerhead shot. Wait, where'd that? Mixed with seaweed. Where'd he come from? Where'd that little guy come from? He spawned him. Oh. Yeah, he went. He created That one is a shadow wolf, not a weird cave lizard. Oh. Uh, a cave lizard. For uh-huh. my first attack, I will use the just glass hammer, obviously. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, Do it. Um, do it. Uh, it. Do it, please. <laughs> you don't even know which one. I'm gonna do the plus three, the attack roll. I knew that's what you were gonna do. I, really, I yep. wanna make sure I hit it. I'm always good at that. Gotta hit it. Gotta hit it. And it's a seven. So, yeah, but that's good I did seven. that. So, plus three. Oh, yeah. Um, 15. 15 just hits. Wow. Nice. Nice. I Interesting. I Interesting. <laughs> it just says, guys. Is this a detail? It says Tuli. Yes. <laughs> uh, in game, not metagame. Eight. Eight damage? Gotcha. All right. Do the as thing. The, Do the thing. As the dome recedes, see shark. All that y'all have currently lighting you is um, the dim torchlight um, of Pilgrim um, as he is holding it. Um, Careful! Oh no! Um, as he is holding it. Um, Sorry, Australia. Where are you right now? Oh, ver- very uh, well placed in the center of the room, fully getting this room done in dim light. Good job. Um, you, and as I you, helped. As you were not focusing on your dispel magic and stuff like yeah. that, like you were not continuously holding up your fire. Your next attack. Don't put her hair is fire. Yeah, let's <laughs> try to get my hair is Okay. <laughs> That was good. Yeah. That was a good throw. Oh, no. Is it? 11, so minus 3 is 8, eight. plus 5 is 13. So All right, that does not I hate so. these choices! <laughs> so, using your new dust glass hammer? Is that what you have, right? It's a dust glass hammer. Okay. Um, yeah, you so hit with your first attack using the innate magical ability it has to aid you in that, and then you try to swing a little bit more recklessly with it to try to hit even harder, and that one does not make contact. Bees! 
that is your reaction. It's creature. Oh, beast. Um, so, Whoa. Pilgrim and the creature. Oh, wait, is Pilgrim close to me? He is right next to me. Never mind. There's another thing. Yes. Yeah, he summoned the shadow. That more. was four minutes ago. Oh. Yes. So the first thing he did is. was a life. There's a lot of sensory experiences happening in this room. It's very distracting. So, yeah, it's a lot of bar. Um, the wolf is going to, um, oh crap, where did it go? Okay. Um, tendrils <laughs> extend out from the wolf. Uh, cool. What happened to Chris? <laughs> it looks like an axolotl. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a miniature. It, uh, does a 15 hit Gwendolyn. Yeah, when my armor class is 15, that just, that hits. So yes, yeah, so you just hit the creature with 15, it just, just hits, hits the wolf me. just hits you back. Frig. Frig. Um, frag. Okay, so you were going to frag, frag, fraggy frag, never frag or frag. Uh, you're going to take 10 necrotic damage. <laughs> and if you would, I think you can do this on your character sheet. Oh, like necromancy. If you would subtract mm-hmm. 2 from your yeah, strength score. On. 2 from my strength score? Yep. Where did as the frag come in? As Forever? No. You don't know. Uh, no. You don't know. <laughs> so. We do know, because Thalin recovered. Is that, um, Click on your all along the top? Yes. So my plus two just becomes nothing. Mm. No, no, no. That's just the core score, not the modifier. So actually you'll go down to plus one for strength. Okay. But there's, um... So plus one instead of plus two? Yes. So just change it to plus one instead of plus two? Well, change the core number to two less than what it is. Oh. Which you should be able well, to do temporarily. It's a point eight. So override the score as well. Yes. That's what you're my first cut. Uh, and I'll double check to make sure you're doing that to where it's not a permanent adjustment, but it's just a temporary adjustment to it. Um, and we'll have to track that. Um, so the shadow wolf. That, the shadow wolf that was spawned uh, steps forward and tendrils reach out, wrap around your wrists, and one shoots around and wraps around your throat. And as you're raging and kind of tensing and trying to fight this, you can feel some of the innate powerful energy that you have within you starting to just be sapped out and sucked into the spiritual wolf. The baby root gets me. Spiritual wolf. Hello, everybody. After that, that is Thank you. Zellin. Uh Michael has a question. Yep. Can I see Mine. that they're ca- that they're doing necrotic damage? Yes. Slash. Can I animate dead if they're dead? Are they dead things casting necrotic damage? So can I take control of them? That's a good question. Let me see. For animate dead, uh, the spell creates an undead servant. Choose a pile of bones or a corpse. So um, I would say pile of bones. Uh, Are they a corpse since they're dead? No, they're undead. That's the whole point, right? Uh, I, Wouldn't I, that be a corpse? I would say you, you're not certain exactly okay. if they're in a corpse category or if they are doing like like in the same way that like they could be like you. You do necrotic damage. You're not a corpse. So there's somewhere on the spectrum uh, between okay, doing okay. necrotic yeah. damage and being a corpse. They exist. I'm not a corpse. I think I'm before him. It's a good call. Let me look again. Um, I already said it's a reaction, but I didn't have an actual turn. Um, oh gosh, I don't have you on my list. What was your... Oh, 11. You are before him. Okay. You should have been earlier. Sorry. Um, <laughs> but I'll put you here. 12 points yeah. for everyone. You're good. <laughs> yeah? No? Yeah. Sorry about that. Let's go. Restart the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again from the top. Uh, okay. Um... How would where's the tree on this side? It is wrapping around this wall here. Dang it! Okay. Oh. Oh. Attack the source. Never mind then. Um. <laughs> oh. Hit the doggy. All right. I'm gonna <laughs> stay right where. Actually, I'm gonna it's not over, over, over here. It's not real. And then I'm gonna cast. <clears throat> Yeah, that's fine. Um, shatter. Like, what, here? So it gets these two? Mm-hmm. Nobody else? Constitution saving throws? Yep. I'm just doing second level. Okay. For the um, bipedal creature that you see to be as vague as possible. Um, is it constitution save? The infected. Fifteen. You have to beat. Uh, okay, you roll a three. And the wolf definitely did not pass either, so both failed. Heck yeah, three d eight thunder damage. What level did you cast that? Yeah, thunder. Three. Okay. 
Thank you. So 12. Okay. 12 damage to both. Mm. Yep. Nice. Whoa. Let's go. Sick, dude. Zappo, zappo. Yeah. And then... Okay. I'm Hello. going to... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use a bonus action. I'm going to use Mantle of Inspiration mm-hmm. and grant temporary hit, eight temporary hit points to... Me, help. Cool, 60 feet. So, uh, <laughs> definitely... No, not going. She doesn't need it. Me, help. I'm going to do you. You're within 60 feet. Hell yeah. Lorelith, Pilgrim, Thule, Felon. I almost said Chris, but... <laughs> <laughs> he can die. He's yeah, a minor. I don't care. I care for my How many? Uh, eight. 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 So go up to your hit points at the top. If you click on it, you will see temporary hit points, not yeah. modify max. Uh-huh. Uh, I would do that. Go ahead and put eight there. Yeah. <laughs> can you imagine? Uh, all right, that was Misery's turn, bringing us to Felon. Pilgrim is next. Pilgrim's next. All right. Did I do anything? No. Felon's actually next. Felon, and then Pilgrim's next. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, Michael's like, did I do anything? Wait, how much? I didn't feel like I did anything. You've done your turn. Right. This is ridiculous. Um, well, with with my past experience with these wolves. Oh, uh, how far do I need to be to cast it? Oh. What's within range? 30 feet? Of daylight? Yeah, so it says 60 foot radius sphere cast uh, from a point you choose within range. So. Have a range. Within 60 feet, you can pick a point. Okay. Um, and then from that point, a 60 foot radius sphere of light. So everything is within 60 feet, pretty much for the most Yes. Part. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Well, I'm going to cast Daylight on this guy that's spawning wolves. Okay. <laughs> Just right on. Yeah. yeah. All right. So it's going to follow him for an hour. Mm-hmm. Um, so any particular part of his body or where it's at? Um, Stop. Right on his nose. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. uh, and so uh, the dimmer light of this whole room uh, then becomes complete normal daylight, and Ooh. this wolf disappears completely, <laughs> but the two other creatures remain. That was Sick. your action? Yes. And that was a third level spell? Uh, it is indeed a third level spell. Okay. Um, I will do a... Oh, cool. Whoa! <laughs> and then I'll do a bonus action. I'm going to shift into just a regular bestial form that gives me eight temporary health point. Uh, it says it only lasts for a minute. A minute's I a long not, time in combat. A, a minute is like... Once your full round is done between everyone is six seconds. So it would be ten times of everyone doing something. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So, you so get, I just get... Wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. You already have temporary hit points from him. Whoa. I would not do that. It does not stack. Yeah. Okay. I'm done then. Okay. <clears throat> now what is Pilgrim? Pilgrim's turn... And after Pilgrim is Loralith. Pilgrim is going to unsheath his knife mm. and do a little sneak attack right beside a little plant McGee over here. Whoa, Pilgrim attacking. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. This never yeah. happens. <laughs> yeah. Go for the go oh, for his, Mr. McGee. His, plant McGee. Yeah. Get him. His uh, plant jugular. Stem. His plugular. Stem. Stem. His stem. Uh, she said the right thing. <laughs> okay. That's correct. You know what? Oh, okay, okay. It okay. is. You're right. Not so uh, 14. Hit him in his chloroplast. What was that? 14. 14 just misses. Yeah. Like, um, cool. yeah. So, uh, not quite in there. You get it kind of tangled into some of the roots uh, and vines that are around his body, but it doesn't Thank seem to cut anything up. Goodness. That's it for me. <laughs> All right. Then, Loreless, you're up. I have a question. Yep. So, my fancy schmancy quiver. Already attuned to fire from when uh, Jacques gave it to you. Perfect. Oh, okay, sweet. Mm-hmm. Oh, can I, can I do a bonus action? I guess I could. You oh. do, yes. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, stop talking. Yeah, never to speak. Um, I'm gonna shove him. Because I'm the one. <laughs> 
That's oh, you were bonus? bonus? <laughs> I'm going to give him a bad one. Is that a skill check for you? Or is that a I'm going to find his Google My Business listing and give him a scathing one. Um, that's an ego whip. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, the target must succeed on a strength saving throw. Okay. Which, what, is this DCA plus my proficiency bonus plus the ability modifier of the score increase? Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, 13. Okay. Sounds right. Uh, strength save. Just beats it. Strength. One, two, three, four, five. Roll plus five. For for thread weavers ring? Yes. I, you roll first and then I can yep. decide to change it? Yes. Okay, so do I have to tell you before we... I yep. think you tell me... Oh, I thought you told me what it was and then I decide. Nope. Yeah, I'm gonna change it out for a twelve. Okay. It's gonna pass. Is it? At a twelve. Yeah. No, so with tw- a twelve. Twelve is what comes into the D twenty roll and it still adds the bonuses. Oh, I didn't know that. You're good. I'll okay. let you keep it. Sorry. That makes sense. I tried. <laughs> yeah. So you're simply just replacing the D twenty. Okay. Everything else adds naturally. Okay. Um so it fails the check. You shove it. <laughs> shove it. Uh, hey, you, you almost made me the happiest DM in the world. Five <laughs> <laughs> feet away. He's new in town. Right? I shoved him. Yes. <laughs> He's um, new in town. He is new in town. So, um, <laughs> this creature that was attacking Gwenlin now gets kinetically moved back. Closer um, to the way from you all. Uh, now it is Lorelet's turn. All right. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um... Just kidding. And first, it turns over. That's first, like I'm gonna go, whoop, and then I'm gonna be like, boop, boop, boop. Okay. So boop. get a mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. attack. Just, just to get a little. No, because I turned my back to him. Like uh, it does get was. a chance to attack you yeah. if you leave its range. Even if I'm looking at it. Yes. Oh, you thought I'd be back to my slow? Don't break it. Kind of like my friend is in front of Mari and she tipped to us fast because he can't see her. The act of turning and moving creates an opening in your defense. Well, but I don't understand how. Oh, sorry. Wow. <laughs> I don't understand how this is not more of an opportunity attack. My back was to him. The opportunity this is whole you're time. trying to Me run away. turning yeah, around. Yeah, he attacked you. No, you turning around, fine. Oh. You taking the opportunity to then try to leave. No, then... okay, okay. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm just going to turn around. You're good, yeah. <laughs> Don't even cheat. Tell the other thing. Yep. Uh, short bow. Long bow. It doesn't matter. Either bow is going to be a disadvantage. Yeah, right, because you're so close. If you're attacking him, you could. Mm-hmm. I would actually say you couldn't aim for this one because you have so much, like, bone and hand creature in, in the way. Oh. Yeah, so you could go for a melee attack just fine if you have another one. With the yeah. All right, I do. Yeah, so I have a spear yeah, like a knife and a dagger. I'm gonna just stabby stabby. Let's stabby stabby him with a dagger. Hold it. And you do get two attacks with your spear. Right. But it's not dagger. imbued with, with fire. fire. It's not gonna be fire. That's Ooh, terrible. Two. Doesn't hit. Next attack. Whoa. Yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah, twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Get him. Right. Get that cephalopod. <laughs> Five. Legume. Get that legume. Five. <laughs> you roll damage for it. Yeah. Uh, you double your die. Get that root vegetable. So roll another Number three die of damage. Or if you what yeah, what did you roll on a five? No, three. I rolled a three. Rolled a three plus two, so oh. three, six, eight. Okay. And then what I'll also say is this is a Monday dagger. You don't have a ma- Oh no, you have the, the sleepy one. The sleepy dagger, right? Sleepy oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that we stole it from looks normal to me. Yeah. Michael on it. Right. Yeah. You stole from where? Yeah. Is it the one we stole got in the fight from the, yes. the purple glowing one? Yes. So the that's Huh. Oh, I did take that one. Yes, yeah, I remember, I remember that. So, because it's have... not in my inventory, but um, I have it. I think it, it is. Oh. Um, I saw it there recently. Really? Um, so because that's the dagger that you would use, as we talk about that, uh, it is a magical dagger, um, and you do full eight damage to that dude. Is it a plus one? Too? No. Hey, she's a sweetie. Okay. <clears throat> Crit hit from Lorleth. She turns Ooh. around and whips out Crit Sleepy hit. Dagger, Nyquil, Nyquil Stick, and then pokes it. Um, that is your action. Beep. All right. Um, and now I'm going to. Don't you get two attacks? 
Yeah, she did. Oh, you're doing attack. My first cool. attack was bad. Uh, I rolled a two, two for it. A but now it's Wolfie's turn. Yep. Wolfie is Wolfie? going to. <sighs> yeah. And then back away. No. <laughs> if he tiptoes away, so, uh, he's just. That was a critical hit. Mm hmm. Um. I'm not gonna waste his fire. He's just gonna chomp into him. Okay, you have right the stats the for it, Damon. which are updated, and you get advantage on the attack. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay. Because of pack yeah. tactics. Right in the stamen. Do you have his stats pulled up? Pack tactics. Yum. Yum. What? Do you have his stats pulled up? Yes. What? Cool. So a roll. Shrink. Oh my gosh. Has advantage. Oh, that's right. Twelve. Plus. Plus beep 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 beep. Let's go ahead. What do I add? Hmm. I can't tell what I add. Six plus six. So twelve plus six that is eighteen. Yep. Great. Um and then I wanna roll four four D four. Whoa. Beep, beep. I can roll that for you digitally if that's helpful. That would be very helpful. Okay. And then it's plus four, and then plus two d four. Okay, so twelve piercing damage. Great. And then two d four fire damage. Yeah. No. It says hit four d four plus four plus two d four piercing damage. Yeah. Um, so yeah, right. The, that first set of d four is piercing damage. That second one is fire damage. Even the... though he's not breathing fire. Yes. Okay. It's just naturally as he bites in, there's some heat and fire to it as well, nice. which is yeah. helpful to you in the situation. Yeah. Um, I rolled two fours for his fire damage, so max fire damage possible. Nice. The fire damage goes straight through. You can see it burning up some of the flesh and um, uh, roots and vines of this creature. Uh, the piercing damage of where he sees biting it, they're actually resistant to it. So you can see that his teeth are not doing as much damage as they normally would, but the fire is. And so it was 12 halved to 6, and then the 8 damage. Plus so 4 more. Yes. Yes. That's a lot of damage. So is he dead now? He gone. He's not dead now. <laughs> but you said it was a critical hit. It's not a critical hit. No, no my hit, hit was yeah, a critical hit. Yeah, but it was 8 damage. You did 8 damage with your old dagger. You did double damage with your dagger. Oh, Amazing. I thought critical means like they're about to die. No, it means you do extra damage with it. It means that an ambulance is called. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yes. You said the fire damage was looked like it was doing more no, than it No, it looked than... like it was more than the piercing damage, but, but they did not seem vulnerable amount. to the fire. Okay. Yeah. You know, like if you caught a tree on fire. I would say a tree is vulnerable to fire. Right. <laughs> That's a good point. That no. It depends how wet the wood is. Yeah. Gwendolyn, Fair. Gwendolyn, you're up. And then Fair. Chris. Chris! Oh, Chris, hey! Use your hammer, buddy! I've got a hammer! <laughs> oh, that's not going to be very helpful. <laughs> He's freaking out. It right might. Now. He yeah, can smush the trees. Oh, yeah, because he was like, can I have a magic one? And I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to hit the, the leak again. Okay. He didn't move away from me, so you gotta, you gotta engage up. It go tiptoed away slowly. Yeah. So no, he got shoved. Dude. Got shoved. No, it tiptoed away slowly, so he didn't push. He knew it. He's new in town. <laughs> Man. I guess I'll try. I'll make a double joke because this is the same. End. Yeah, don't <laughs> say the don't say the rest of it. Uh, Hi, Dad. Should I do it in the same order or flip the order this time? Same order. Choices. Same order. Michael says. Okay, so plus three is the attack roll. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Plus only one now from strength, not two. I know, my DC went down. I mean, if you had done minus three, you would have been a zero. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't hit. Okay. That's okay, this one will. So, work. this time we will take... I did it. Good job. I made the joke. Minus three to the penalty. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Sorry. As long as you're scared of the dice. Where is it? Right there. Did oh. you roll it straight through the arch? You, you changed whatever. You definitely it was changed on. it. I will give you the best then. It was an 18. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I'll Don't give you the that. best. Don't then. take that. Roll again. The best would be a 20. 20. <laughs> um, no, he, he, he moved it over to the right place. Okay, so minus 15. Three, the penalty. But okay, so it still hits. So it still hits. Yeah. Your proficiency and your strength right now together is a plus three. So you, if you're gonna, if you want to just shorthand the math from you doing it, it would just be. I was showing as plus four from where we adjusted. Yes, it. even with your strength being reduced. 
Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. plus five, Our and we reduced it, and now it's two. plus four. Yes, because your strength and your proficiency all together end up being plus one. Yeah. So if you minus three plus four, you can always just roll one plus one as a shorthand to it, is all I'm trying to say. But you hit. Yeah, don't make it harder. Uh, but I get to have plus five to the damage. Yep. Yeah. Huzzah! Man, I even took away oh, from my... Oh, it's a 10. Mm. Not a zero. Okay. Because that means 10. Mm-hmm. So I get to add yeah. plus uh, 13. And then plus the five. 18 damage is not packed. That's pretty That's solid. rage, strength, five. Okay. I rolled a 10. Sweet. Zero. That's great. Um, this particular dude is now looking rough. Mm. Oh. Yeah, he is. What's Anything that? else? Uh, no, I'm still too close to Pilgrim for bees. I will... Uh, Are you 10 feet for bees? Bees. Yeah. Yeah. Um, bees? Put the bee on, the, on his back. Bees? I don't need to show bees right now. It's 10 feet really for bees. Call it. Yeah, Good. Ah! <laughs> Hammer ready. Oh Chris, runs around. Do it, Chris! Let's go, Chris! Chris! Give a couple Chris! Chris! Crap Chris! Swings. Chris! Chris! Does not hit. Ah! <laughs> She slams the ground, rubble just kind of pops up from it, uh, and it got a shatter of, of sparks off of the hammer as it hits the ground. Uh, Jacques, just a concerned look in the corner, just... <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us go. <laughs> go great, Chris. Um, great. After that one is this one. And so, continuing its fight with Lorla, the longsword that it has, um, glowing with reddish-black energy, uh, it swings and rolls a 23 to hit, and a 15 to hit. Whoa. Both, Both of those. Okay. Tullius. Tullius. We get... Let me just double check on it. That hurt. Okay. Um, ooh, rolled a 1, so... Uh, 3 piercing damage. And seven piercing damage, so ten piercing damage total. So bad. And the necrotic damage is eleven. How you looking over there? Fourteen hit points left. Okay. So this creature pulls out the longsword that it has been using and runs it against the the vines that it has against it, which continue to reignite it with necrotic energy, and it gives two slashes at Loralith, both hitting, and she's starting to look a little rough. Um, after that, we are fully in bright light still, and that brings us to <laughs> Tuli. Okay, I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb at Sick. the one that is fighting Warleth. Um and I'm going to choose for it to be fire damage. Um, Unless I have any perception that it has any kind of vulnerability, um, maybe acid. I'm thinking through plants, I'm thinking through... Sorry. (laughs) I hear a random stone fall. Mm -hmm. Do I have any kind of... Feminine hips. (laughs) It's new in town. (laughs) Um, Do I have any kind of perception? That's it on this point. You're very early in your time seeing these things. Okay. Then I'm going to use fire Mm -hmm. damage. Um, and I'm going to cast it at third level. Okay. Woo! And Burn it. so that will be, um, 5d8 damage if it hits. Um, <sighs> and I do a ranged spell attack for that. Yep. Um, if I want to use my... Red Weaver, you, you can roll first and then... And then see what it is. Yep. Okay. All right. So that is D20. Um, plus 7, 24. That hits. <laughs> okay, so it is 5D8 damage. Which one are you hitting? I'm sorry? I'm hitting it's 5D8. Oh, yeah. This one. For the damage. Yeah. It's 100% dead. Hopefully. You don't know. She could get I could get 5 damage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No. 8. No. Eight. Five. No, 5. 5. Oh, no. 31. Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh no. 31 damage? Yeah. That's the amount of damage. That is the amount mm-hmm. of damage. Wow. 7, 7, a 1, and 8, and 8. Is it? That was so good. Did it die? And you're the one that just attacked Tuli, right? 
the no, Laura the one that attacked you. Just on that Laura Lith, yes. yeah. Uh, I'll let you describe that. Yeah! <laughs> That's okay. wild. Spit into your hands. Um, <laughs> and they go, <laughs> <laughs> um, Tuli um, pulls the, like, she, like, kind of spins her wand to be holding it like this, and then she pulls out her um, diamond and holds it in the direction and then spins her wand back up. And can she use her wand to, like, mm-hmm. cast through the diamond? Yes. And then she, like, casts it through the diamond and just sends out this like maybe it's a little faster than it usually comes out um because she's worried about Lorelith and she sends uh this bolt of a four inch orb that has like red light glowing within it straight at the guy it uh burrows through the vines into the core of the guy and you see like nothing happens for a second and then threads of fire explode out and it just uh, topples in half and is burned. Wow. Ow. A little bit of hiss of black smoke pours out from him after that. Um, and then, as he does hit the floor, there's this... As he burns away, and these red flakes like embers from a fire just completely burn him into a shadowy mist. Um, you also, as you were doing this, you cast the spell. Uh, you notice that the dust glass wand, which is completely... Uh, like greenish in color and kind of transparent a bit to see within it, but there's a little bit of a dancing moat of black energy that's flying around within it. Hmm. When you cast the spell, it doesn't interact with it at all, but you can notice that innate to it now is there's a little bit of a black energy. Hmm. Um, after Tuli is the other uh, creature, which is with Gwenlin at this point. Um, as it is looking around... Um, now nah, it's going to stick with um, attacking Gwenlin. Um, it is going to take a spear that it has, and it's going to drive it kind of straight into its own sternum. And when it pulls it out, this blood rootish blood that comes out of where this twisting of vine and flesh is lights up a uh, dust glass spearhead that it has. And then you see the dust glass on it just light up in this reddish black spiritual energy, and then it turns it to go and use it against you. Wow. Advanced. It rolled a 23 to hit, and a 24 to hit. Um, Let's do the piercing first, so you can cut it in half. Um, 7 and 8, 15 halved to 7 for you, um, for raging. And then the necrotic, which is not halved, is 4. I heard it was half. (laughs) Um, And so as the spear punctures through you both times, you're raging, you're not even really thinking or feeling about it, uh, but it has a little bit of an extra sting, as even as you look down to the wounds, they aren't just opening up to flesh and blood, but there's a little bit of like decaying skin from where the spearhead pierces in. Uh, After that is misery. Misery business. What are, what's that, what's that like nice plant helpful guide for at the end of the Chronicles of Narnia books? Polywog. Polywog? You know what I'm Yeah. Yeah. Well, these are not him. (laughs) (laughs) I am going to unleash a string of insults laced with subtle enchantments at a creature I can see within range, which just happens to be that guy. (laughs) Wow, what are you going to say? Hit him Uh, with it. Your face is a plant. You have plant legs. You're probably really weak, and you are running out of air. <laughs> <laughs> are you going to uh, roll? Is it, it a saving throw? Is that a wisdom save? Yeah, it's a uh, wisdom save. 15. <laughs> I've rolled a 4. There's no way it has uh, 11 Heck modifiers. Yeah, so. Wow. Guess how many things I get to roll. That was such a was good a cantrip, insult. A it's a cantrip. Okay. 2d4 damage. What is a string of mockery? Yeah. Three? Man, I can't read this. Six damage. Okay. Six psychic. Do those have disadvantage on attack rolls for its next turn? Or am I wrong about that? Oh, uh. It right. has disadvantage on the next attack roll. It makes poorer than attack. That's cool. I don't know why that's up there. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm glad it does because it doesn't do a lot of damage. I don't even know that I can reach this guy. You can move. Because the other guy's dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steven? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, are you yeah. talking about melee range? Steven and I are one. Uh, no, I'll look at my... Uh... 
I mean, I'm... you can get to about where Pilgrim is. Yeah. Oh, I can. Mm-hmm. You just gotta shove Chris out of the way. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'll move over there as yeah. I think. Each square is five feet. Um. Gosh, he's, he's almost dead, anyways. It's so easy in my mind for me to just want to make up stuff that I can do. <laughs> oh, really? Because of the fact that I can control plants and stuff. Mm-hmm. Do I have any control over uh, him okay. because he has a plant body? Uh, what are you trying to do? Um, I I want to create... Interesting. Um, okay. Our, a coveted plant body. <laughs> is this creature separate from the ground, or does it appear that it's... Uh, vines or its feet are coming it's separate from right. under the ground. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's fully attached to itself. <clears throat> um, is it possible for me to create vines that would connect with its vines to hold it still so that it can't move? I know, like, that's not an action. Yeah. That's why I'm just thinking about it. Yeah. Um, I'm just thinking about like my imagination. Goes there are particular spells fast. that do things like that, right? Um, and so it's what, like whether you've chosen <laughs> chosen to like learn those and put them into your abilities. Um, I would say, just for the sake of like creativity and rolling with it, if you would give me, uh, I would do that for a first level spell slot um, for you to interact with its vines and try to restrain it. Okay. Um, so yeah, my my desire is to see if if my if I can create just like when they were in the pool, how I made vines come up to yeah. keep them from drowning. Do the same sort of thing to intertwine and almost like lock down its limbs yeah. from doing any sort of action. With. Yeah, I think that that's close enough, a ton close enough to what you would naturally do anyway. And that I would do a first level spell slot. I'll do a deck save for it. Um, and, ooh, what is your um, spell DC? It's at the top of your um, <laughs> character sheet. I don't know where that is. Is it under skills? Um, it should just be at the very top of your sheet um, next to your it's stats. All the time ones. Help me find this way. What are you looking for? Well, no, yeah, it's not. What it would be for? go to spells. Yeah, go, go to your spells tab. And it's at the top of spells. There you go. Oh. It is 15. Uh, oh. It's It rolled a 16. No! So, um, you can see some of the vines of it naturally as yours kind of wrap up within it uh, to try to hold it within its place. But then its own vines that are wrapped around it t- like turn to those and fight them off and push them away. Okay. Anything else for your turn? No, I just cry a little bit because it would have been cool. <laughs> Pilgrim. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, disappear and reappear. Did um, you mark a first level spell slot? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go poof and then go poof right yep. in front of it. Advantage. On. Sneak attack. And I'm going to try to, with both hands, ram my dagger into the wound it gave itself in its chest. Yeah. Just go oh. yep. right in the whole hole. <laughs> Advantage and sneak attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's not the guy that I want, even a little bit. I want that one. <laughs> cool. Oh, that's a five. And that's a seven. So, ten. That does not hit. <laughs> Figured. Uh, and so, yeah, so you try to force your dagger through the <laughs> immense layers of uh, vines and the roots that it has built upon it. Just fight the dagger off and you can't muster it to force it to do some damage. The dice give it You're the gonna dice. Be right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. One of these days. You'll see. You'll all see. You had a really cool Abeloth kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's right. I had to kill it. Remember that one time five months ago? <laughs> <laughs> that was really cool. Like a year ago? Right. Anything else for him? No. <laughs> Morla. Morla. You get what you deserve. Um, <laughs> for taking bad stats at the beginning. I'm not going to feel bad for you. <laughs> All right. Wow, that was a twist. You got yeah. plus three to your time. It shows us you that you were born. Don't yeah. 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 I have a clear shot. You do. Without yes. hitting anybody. You do. Great. Roll to hit. My longbow. And fire bow. With my fire. Mm-hmm. My fire. Fire. Sorry. <sighs> Do 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 Long bow Beep No Eight 
does not hit. You have another one. I do have another one. Another I'm one. just gonna roll. Maybe we should start using Joffrey 50. for these basic attacks. Wait, Joffrey! Should we use Joffrey? No. Let's roll sure. First. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's, it's so much. <laughs> Six plus seven would be twelve, which is not enough to hit. It's Thirteen, but that also doesn't hit. Oh. Yeah, let's do it. Joffrey. Joffrey. Everyone says no. Yeah, Joffrey. It's gonna be worse. Yeah. Well, five plus five plus seven is seventeen, which does it. Yay! Yay! Thank you, Joe. Finally. Motor. I understand how that happened, but just sort of like ten <laughs> plus. Is there fire damage? Yeah, you do an additional D6. Gosh, this could kill or me. no, I think it changes your damage <laughs> over fully oh, to fire damage. What does the <laughs> just the quiver say? Uh, yeah, I think. It has advantage over it. Also, while we're pulling this up, that Joffrey was brought to you by Norse Foundry. Thank you for the wonderful boulder. Boulder. Beauty blog, Joffrey. Yeah. It it doesn't it doesn't say anything about that. Uh, So yeah, it doesn't do additional damage. It changes to that moment's damage. (laughs) Oh. Um, But it is magical too. So just do your normal damage that you would in the normal fire. It was. It was Long goes 10. a D8 plus 10 damage? Yeah, a D8 plus 4 is what it is. Dead. 10 total damage. You, did you roll the D8? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Great. I'm, you can I'm describe the last. Fun. Great. You can describe the last. <laughs> oh, oh, that took a long time. <laughs> Hell yeah. Again? Yeah. <laughs> I take, I take the arrow out, and I lean over to Wolfie, who's next to me, for him to... To blow some fire on it. Wow. And he goes, mm. <laughs> it's on fire. Pull it back. Lego! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The creature takes the arrow into the throat. And right just, in the semen! <laughs> and then it fades into embers that float away as its body then falls to the ground. And I look at Wolfie. Wow. And I look at Wolfie. <laughs> and Wolfie and I together. Wiggy! 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 Wake up! She's so stressed. No, she's stupid. She's stupid. She's stupid. She's Come in. Me? Come in. Me and Wolfie go together. Come here. Come here. Come here. You're so close. Come here. She's like, I'm so excited. That's my favorite moment. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I don't know what to do. Come here. You're so close. She's being crazy. We go. What? Oh! Oh! You're not doing it. Oh! Like, right, she hates it. Uh, Wolfie and I do it together. You're doing it wrong. And as the howls fade, yeah. you hear Chris go, ah! as he runs with his hammer and just slams down into the space where it's fading away. And, he's, ah! and I throw my dagger on it. Wait, and, and that's where and that's where we're at. That was the end.